Hi, this is Darren with PGE, and we asked you to tell us about how you're being more green and more sustainable, and we're here in Beaverton today to go and talk to a customer so she can tell us about some of the different things that she's doing to help save some money and save energy. So let's go check it out. So we're here with Angela Mendel to talk to her a little bit about some of the different ways that she has a green and more sustainable lifestyle. We know that she got in contact with us and wanted to share with other PG customers some of the things that she does. So Angela, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the stuff that you do here? Well, I uh, first of all, I use, instead of paper towels in my kitchen, I use reusable washable cloths. Uh, when I have leftovers mm -hmm. for uh, after dinner, instead of cling wrap, I use one of these plasticky, crinkly with elastic, and they are. I also just wash those with hand soap and I put them over. I also have reusable la sandwich uh, wrap containers. Fat containers that I put my lunch sandwiches in, my mm -hmm. snacks in, my cut up fruit in, that kind of thing. And then when I go to the grocery store, I have a reusable washable produce bag That's instead great. of the plastic mm -hmm. produce bags. And then as I hope most people are doing, I have reusable, wonderfully colorful, bright, uh, reusable shopping bags. They carry, this size carries two plastic grocery oh. sacks. So Angela, why are you doing this? Why is this important to you? What, did you? what made you want to start doing this in the first place? I don't like the plastic in the landfills. Mm -hmm. I like to save money. Right. Um, and I just, I just think it's a good thing to do and it, it has saved me money and it's kind of fun when I get comments in the grocery store like where'd you get that produce bag what are you doing how do you use that that kind of thing and um, it's just I think it's just a good thing to do for the future what do your kids think I have a teenage son and sometimes he, he thinks I'm a little crazy but I'm hoping that I'm teaching him good ideas for maybe his family and it just become normal for the next generation to just to just do this so Angela tell us a little bit more about some of the other things that you have in the house here Okay, well, we've replaced all the lights in the house with the new CFLs. We have dual flush toilets. Mm -hmm. We have uh, energy efficient windows. And we installed solar panels. I think there's 12 solar panels up on, on the roof. That's great. So, Darren, to save even more energy, I have a high efficient washer and dryer. And I hardly ever use the dryer because I put my clothes on a clothesline inside in the wintertime. And um, in the summertime, I'd take the clothesline outside and dry it, and that saves me a ton of money on my energy bill. So have you been drying your stuff on the line upstairs? All winter, all winter long. We'll have to take a look at that. Okay. So Darren, this is my office where I hang my clothes during the winter time. And with my high efficient washing machine, it spins them out so, so much that they don't drip on the floor. They dry, jeans dry overnight, sweatshirts dry overnight. I hang them on these racks that I bought from Ikea. They fold up and go away so you don't have to have them out. You can put them in a closet, that kind of thing. And Angela, don't you make your own laundry detergent as well? I do make my own laundry detergent and I do that because it stops me from buying the plastic bottles that end up in the landfill and making washing detergent is really easy and inexpensive. Angela, thank you so much for inviting us in your home today and showing how you are such a great green champion. Well, thank you. It's, it's something I uh, enjoy doing. It's very easy to do, and it's just part of my daily lifestyle, and anybody could do it. All right. Well, you go do it, and we are out. All right. Well, I learned a lot, and I hope you did too. Thanks a lot for watching.